So today we'll discuss about point of care ultrasound, focus, especially in trauma. So our objectives are, so mainly we'll see in this session, the basic principles of ultrasound. Later we'll see how to do and interpret fast ultrasound. So point of care ultrasound has four major functions. The first one is resuscitative. The second one is diagnostic. Third one is symptom or sign based. And the fourth one is procedure guidance. So ultrasound can be used directly to uh, resuscitate, evaluating a patient and then seeing the response for the resuscitation. And it can be used also as a diagnostic modality. And sometimes it could be used as a patient who had symptom-based investigation, like a patient who has shortness of breeze or a patient who is in shock. And the last one to guide during different procedures. So point of query ultrasound it is focused, limited, and goal directed. It's only used as a screening tool. It just asks two questions. Yes, no, absent, or present. Sometimes it gives you an intermediate result that you can repeat again within minutes. So it allows for immediate therapy and also procedural guidance. Otherwise, it's not a replacement of the comprehensive consultant performed imaging. It just it is a simple extension of a physical examination. So let's see some of the terminologies that you will use while you are using ultrasound. So the first one is anechoic, which is a, a black structure. This will be seen when there is fluid, such as blood, urine, or bile, and it becomes black and they call it anechoic. And the other is hyperechoic, like bone, which transmits a very little sound energy and it produces a bright white image. And the other is frequency, the number of times a wave is repeated per second. So we have different probes, high frequency, low frequency probes based on the frequency. And the other is gain. This refers to the overall brightness of the image. Okay, so when you increase again, it becomes more white. When you decrease again, it becomes more black. So there are different planes of examination with ultrasound as other images like CT scan. As you see here, this is a sagittal image. And this is a transverse image. And this is a coronal image or is CT scan. So we do use ultrasound in different planes. So as you know, ultrasound is a machine and there is a probe which creates sound waves that cannot be heard by the human ear. So these waves are generated from the probe and they travel through the tissue of the patient. And then they will return to the probe as they encounter different tissues. So this depends on the density of the structures. So when there is strong echo signal or when there is weak echo signal. 
So when there is strong echo signals, they will give you hyperequake image on the ultrasound screen, like bones, pleura, pericardium, will give you strong echo signal, whereas fluids will give you an echoic or black echo signal, like blood, urine, and ascites. So as you discussed earlier, frequency is a number of times per second, the sound wave is repeated. So there is high frequency and low frequency ultrasound probe. So the high frequency is like the linear probe, which can be visualized, which can visualize superficial images with high quality. But the curvilinear probe, or the abdominal probe is a low frequency. It gives you better visualization in deeper structure, but with a lesser quality of the superficial structure. So you have to know which probe are you going to use during examination. And the other probe is the echo probe, which can be used for doing echocardiography. So because air scatters the sound waves and creates poor quality images, it is necessary to use a liquid gel on the probe surface to improve the contact between the patient's skin and the probe surface. So how do you hold the transducer? So the transducer should be held lightly in your hand with a pro marker directing to the patient's right or to the patient's head. So when you are doing a longitudinal image, you probe direction should be toward the head. And while you are doing the transverse image, the probe direction should be toward the patient's right. So as you see here, this is a patient a probe marker on the A, and then it's similar to on the screen on B, as you see on this mark, which is a green mark is a probe direction similar to the probe mark. So how can you improve image quality with ultrasound? The first thing is adjusting the depths. So adjusting the depths will help you to focus specific areas. And the other is gain. So you can adjust the gain, which will give you a better brightness while you are adjusting the gain. And there are also different modes of scanning. So we'll see later on different modes of scanning. The first one is B mode, M mode, or the motion mode color and uh, Doppler. And there are also different artifacts which can help for diagnostic purpose. First one, shadowing, mirror image artifacts, posterior acoustic enhancement. So these artifacts will help to diagnose abnormalities and then to uh, improve, you will do some adjustments. We'll see this in the late episodes.